Hey guys, welcome to Table Knots. I'm Doolin. And I'm Doolin. <laughs> and we're gonna count down some of Emily's favorite games of 2021 that weren't 2021 releases. So yeah. do you wanna just jump right into it? Sure. All right, do you wanna talk about any of the games, like uh, honorable mentions or anything? Okay, yeah, I had a few honorable mentions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we like to sneak in a few Actually, extra picks every once in a while. Actually, a lot. <laughs> For honorable mention, I have Cam Lope. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> we have played this game with Max and Danielle. I love the board when it comes, um, like almost like a child's pop-up book. This yeah, little palm tree comes yeah. up. No, I that, think it's really cool. And I just, forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then the pyramid that you use with the button, it poops out dice. Oh, I think it, it's really cool. It's it just, is very unique, the way that that. But I, I what else, what, what do you I'm like about- I'm actually surprised that it's not on my top 10, I, but. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this is honorable mentions. Yeah. So, yeah, it didn't make your top 10. Like, no. like that's that's crazy. Uh, I know that our, our Discord loves Camelot. Camelot. They're all about it. <laughs> it is not only a racing game, it's a betting game. Yeah. Betting game, which... Which we're from Kentucky yeah. and we like betting on horses, so why not bet on camels? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great game. Uh, oh, we don't own it yet, nope. but I think my family would really, really they enjoy would. playing, so we're going to probably get it eventually. They would. Another um, honorable mention that I have is Similo. Similo. Similo so, is great. We actually own that. We do. We own the... The wild animals. Wild animals. We've been playing a lot. We've taught it to some students as well, and they really enjoy it. And we've played on BGA a lot with yeah, some friends. B the BGA adaptation is really, really good. Yeah. I think. Um, another one that I had that was an honorable mention is Fantasy Realms. Yeah. So I had never played that until I went to PAX Unplugged, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I got to play with Jeff and Jamie from Foster the Meeple. Mm -hmm. You should check out their channel. Um, and Max and Danielle. <laughs> and I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> Legitimately not. She's not. She's really not. You, what was your <laughs> score that you got the other day? 240. 240. 240 is really good. I think that if you get over 200, like that's a solid round. Okay. Like Just the, like a, the cards and stuff, mm -hmm. like they blank each other sometimes and I get confused and then I do poorly. But. Yeah. But you're doing good now. <laughs> it's a great game. I'm, I'm glad that it, well, okay. it didn't make your top 10. No. I'm glad you're giving it an honorable mention. And then the last honorable mention I have is Strike. <laughs> Four honorable mentions. Strike. Strike. So good. Yeah. yeah. So I also played this one at PAX. I got to play with Jazz from Lobby of Hobbies. You should mm. check out his channel as well. <laughs> um, and you basically are in this arena, like mm -hmm. a coliseum, and you roll dice, and it's a push your luck game, and I like dice throwing. Yeah. So Emily got to go to PAX. I didn't. And every time she, every day, really, you, you remind me of that fact, so. Okay. Okay, that's all my honorable mentions. <laughs> okay, so we, we got through what isn't in your top 10, but, but our, I, our good I like games. Them. Uh, good. It gave a few shout outs along the way. Uh, now we're gonna get into the, the meat of everything. So Emily, number 10. Okay. What is your number 10 favorite game new to you in 2021 that wasn't a 2021? Okay, race? it is Fuji Flush. Fuji Flush. And I think it's out of print. I don't know this. We can I don't still know buy for it. Sure. it. Yeah, it, we I got mean, it. Yeah, and it's not like, I don't think it's an expensive game by no. name. It's just a card game. It's but a card game. I love card games. Um, this one's really fun. It's by Friedman Freeze, which uh, he has like a habit of naming all of his games uh, FF after his name, which is funny. Uh, but Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I got um, to play this one at PAX as well with friends, and it was just super fun to all hang out and play that one. In a um, recent video, I had a very rough time explaining this game. Do you want to go ahead and try? Because you probably will do it better than me. <laughs> you have numbers, okay. you try to play numbers that, um, you want to play numbers that are lower. Norm, norm, I mean, if you play lower than the person to your right, they're still in. So right. you want to try to like... If you play higher than they're flushed, yeah. they have to take their card away. Yeah. And the goal um, is to get rid of all your cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we you can, can do like choo-choo trains. <laughs> <laughs> Where you all play twos and gang up on each other and it counts for more yeah. points. Yeah, if you play the same number as somebody else, it's got you, choo -choo -train. you join them and yeah. it's, your number is now combined. Right. You give them a chance to discard a card, uh, but also give yourself a chance to discard a card. Right. So you probably don't want to do that with people who are winning, necessarily. But, uh, yeah. No, okay, that, that's a that was number 10. Mm -hmm. That's it. Number 9. Number nine. nine. Number nine. This Fuji is... Flush is number ten. Yeah. Number nine. Number nine. Nine is one that our friend gave us, um, Kyle from 
faster than Meeple. Faster than Meeple? Yeah. Newest Shout member. Yeah, newest member. <laughs> um, so he sent us this game. It's called Micro Macro Crime City. Oh, it was so nice of him. I forgot that he gave sweet. us to he it. He did. He gave that to and us. And so we spread it out on our table, and Josh and I, Dublin and I like to play together. <laughs> um, and it's just something really fun. It's a cooperative thing, and just finding the little people and like figuring out and solving crimes. I like this Yeah, one. I'm actually... The artwork's cool. I, I am blown away by this game. It's I think cool. it's really, really it's neat. It's different. Um, it came out in 2020, and it's got... It's up to rank 223 on BGG, which is, like, unheard of. Uh, like, that, I know that some games have surpassed that that are in recent years, too, but to be only two years old, barely, uh, and be that high means that a lot of people like it. I would say that this is just, like cooperative storytelling where's waldo with, yeah it's like murder. giant where's waldo <laughs> <laughs> like if if waldo were murdered and you're trying to solve yeah. his murder <laughs> there's other ones we have another one we have we have um, yeah it came out in 2021 full house yeah uh full is house. it full house yeah full house yeah. um not to be confused with the tv show that was popular in the 90s. but whatever happened to predictability Supposedly you can get all of them and like put all the maps together and they're gonna release. Yeah, I, I think that there's gonna be two more. Something. This is that's the rumor anyway. Right. Uh, but we haven't played that one yet. We can't speak to how good it is. But, if but it's we do like Crime first. City. So number nine, number yep. nine on your list. I'm I'm impressed. Thanks, Cal. Yeah, thanks, Cal. You're awesome. Okay, number eight is just one. Just one. It's a party game. I um, I love that this this high. You. Thing have a, a person who's a, like a guesser mm -hmm. and they have to show everyone the word. Mm -hmm. The person doesn't know what it is. Everybody mm -hmm. writes just one word to give a clue as to what the word is, the mm -hmm. keyword is. And that person has to guess. If you have more than one of the same, they are eliminated. eliminated. Yeah, I, I like this game a lot. It's probably, I think I've even established this. It's in my top 20 at least. Yeah. And it's my favorite party game. For it's sure. a good party it's game. It's so good. Um, we also played at PAX with a group of people from our Discord. That was super fun. Yeah. Um, just to hang out and with everyone. Um, it's fun to like come up with like different ways of looking at words and mm. see what everybody's thinking and the different definitions that a word can have is interesting. And then we also like playing with your family as well. Oh, love, they love, love it. that. Love that yeah. so much. And we have different groups of friends who all seem to really like this yeah. game. Like it's it's a solid pick. If you're looking for a good party game it's and maybe good. you like code names or something like that yeah. or crypto, this it's is right good. up your alley. And I love words, so. <laughs> okay, number seven. Number seven. Tattoo stories. Tattoo stories. This is one that really surprised me at how high it was, for no. sure. But, okay. explain why you like this game. Um, Tattoo Stories, the art is beautiful, first and foremost. It's a really fun game. Everybody gets like, is it five cards? You get cards that everybody has to somehow put into a drawing mm -hmm. and it's explain how they all are connected and make a tattoo out of it that the person judging would like to Knock wear. Out. <laughs> That the person judging would like to wear. Yeah. So, we played this um, with your sister when we went to her bachelorette party. It was super fun. Um, it's more probably fun if you're a good drawer, but I really like this game. There's another game by them that we haven't played called Monstrosity, mm -hmm. which actually uh, our friends at Second Star to the Left love. Like, they yeah. rave about that game. So we probably need to try that. Uh, I know that has something to do with drawing again. So that was number six? Seven. 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 All right, number six oh, is... Oh, man. Okay. I just ordered this one. Yeah. It's not here yet. Decrypto. 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 I don't remember who this is by. Go ahead and talk about it. We played this game with Max and Danielle mm -hmm. a little while back. I completely messed up the whole thing. No, you didn't. I you were fine. I didn't understand the gist of the game at first. I did it wrong, and so I kind of messed everything up for us, for our team, but we played in pairs. We were versing against Max and Danielle. Mm -hmm. um, this game, you're basically trying to figure out their keywords. Their, their, um, code words. pretty much. You gotta guess, based off of the codes that they're giving, uh, what their, uh, not what their keywords what their are, but what they what their numbers are. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because uh, in the end, a tiebreaker is figuring out the keywords. But 
Uh, for me, anything with code breaking yeah. is a yes. Yeah. Crypto, I would say, is along the same vein as code names. Uh, if you bit. like code names. I think I like it better than code names. A lot of people prefer it, and they also say that it might just be like the board gamers step up from, from code, code names. names. Code names is for yeah. like a broader appeal yeah. uh, to maybe some people who aren't into board games, and to crypto is more more gamey. I, I think that I might still prefer code names, but I know that I'm in the... Okay, number five. This is one. Oh man, yeah. Um, I'm a teacher, I teach Spanish. I've taken this to my school and I've bought, jo Dylan bought me the game in Spanish. Um, he bought me several copies mm -hmm. and I've been able to take it to school and play with my students and they absolutely love this game. And so I have just a lot of good memories associated with it. Um, we've taught it to students, they love it. I love it, I think it's super fun. It's super silly and it's ridiculous and it's just chaotic and just fun. And it is Taco Cat Goat Cheese oh, Pizza. Such a good game. In Spanish would be Taco Gato Cabra Queso Pizza. <laughs> That's what we play in my class. Yeah, so. yeah. And you have more than just that. You have the narwhal. Not, mm, yeah. You have the, <laughs> you have the groundhog. Oh, slap, I forgot. Well, I would have picked up cards there. Gorilla. Yeah. Yeah, super fun. I'm sure that it's was a really of, uh, interesting sound yeah. there from the mic. We need to put, put that, fix that. It's there a we go. lot like <laughs> Slapjack, but with animals, mm. sort of. I've actually never played Slapjack, so oh I wouldn't gosh. know. Okay, well. uh, there's a few games that like have come out recently that have tried to do what Taco Cat has done. Uh, I know that there's a game called like Avocado something. Um, then there's uh, the Sriracha game is oh, yeah. very similar, but I think Taco Gato, Taco Cat. Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza easily does it the best out of all of them. Yeah. Um, it, it's good. It's a game Anyone that, can play it. Yes. Anyone can pick it up and love it. We gave it as gifts a lot for Christmas. Oh, man. And it was and perfect. it was a hit. Like, it was perfect. We gave it to families, and they play it together on board game night, and, and like they love it. So <laughs> More than anything I've given to people, have I heard back from people, oh, man. We love we this love game. We love this game. And yeah. you got, you got, like... You gotta know that our family gets really, like, it's so funny. They get really intense. Even mm -hmm. if they're not, like, super into board games, they would love this it's game. It's a good relationship builder, too, yeah. I think. Uh, like, uh, and to get people out of their comfort zone. Yeah. So, yeah, great game. Okay. Number top five? Or is that, that number five? five that was so five. Oh, top four. Top four. Here we go, number Here we four. Go. Stuffed Fables. Stuffed Fables. Yeah. You wanna show uh, everybody do. your creature that okay. you are typically? This is my little guy. His name is Lumpy. He's so <laughs> cute. Um, Doolin painted him for mm -hmm. him, for me and he's adorable. Um, but Stuff Fables is by Jerry Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Plaid Hat Games. And Plaid Hat Games, which we got to meet him in person I at didn't. PAX Unplugged. And we got to <laughs> play, demo his new game Familiar called Tales. Familiar Tales. Yeah. And it comes out this month. This month Maybe or February. it depends but on when you're at. Super exciting. It's a cooperative game. Mm -hmm. It's a campaign game. Mm -hmm. You're playing the, the the little book has the An adventure book. An adventure really book. Cool. It's amazing. The art is beautiful. You're trying to play the you're playing a stuffed animal mm -hmm. and you're trying to save this little girl from having nightmares. Yeah. Uh, nightmares uh, in the first campaign, which I think it's okay to, to share a little bit of our thoughts or and what happened. Uh, we've only played through uh, the full Adventure 1, uh, so it took us a few nights, but we played through the full Adventure 1, mm -hmm. and we started Adventure 2, uh, and the little girl's blanket was stolen and yeah. taken to like this nightmare world. And go, so we had to follow these monsters there, go retrieve the blanket, fought a bunch of minions, fought a boss, and then we got home safely with her blanket and gave it back to her before she woke up. It was like Toy Story, but with horrible... Monsters. Night. Monsters. So like I typically don't gravitate towards the campaign games, mm. but I actually really like these. The plaid hat games and the storytelling element that yeah. goes with them are just mm. so good. So And it's so cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Top Number three. Number three. Number three is and this is one that I've just now recently gotten really oh, into. She is so into this. I'm surprised it wasn't your number one, in all honesty. Actually, no, your top two are really, really, really good. But number three is good. Shards of Infinity. Shards. It's so fun. Oh, man. Okay. And there's an app, and it's beautiful, and I'm addicted oh, the to app the app. The app is amazing, and she plays by herself all the time. I play by myself all the time. Um, but the we also play together. Yeah. The app is really it's well beautiful. done. It's beautiful. 
Uh, but what do you like about Art this game? Is super what, cool. what is, you um, want? I guess it's like a like a deck building game. It's a deck building game. And you're trying to attack the other the other player mm -hmm. and kill them essentially. Mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of a take that game. You're like buying cards and collecting them, and then you're showing what showing you're, what yeah. you have and yeah. playing them in your hand and using them to attack the other person and gain health yourself. And like if you get to a certain point, you can just trigger one card and it's over mm -hmm. it's it's mm -hmm. so fun what you're talking about is my favorite the thing infinity about this trigger. yeah the um you yeah. you're collecting as shards the game's own shards <laughs> of infinity uh, i i don't know exactly what they're called but they're essentially like this extra not health but focus focus uh as the game goes on you are aiming to get that up to 30 and it's way harder than getting damage and health, health. Uh, but if you can get that up to 30 and then draw the card that you start off with. Um, shard of Infinity. I, I think it's the, yeah, it's called the Infinity Shard or something. And when you play it, uh, because you have a certain amount of these, this focus. It triggers infinity damage to your part. To yeah, your and you win. Opponent. Um, and then on top of that, like because I've talked down here uh, on this channel about Star Realms a lot. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. I think this is surpassing it, mainly because the focus aspect of the game is just really, really neat. Uh, it causes cards that you've previously bought to mm -hmm. have extra things happen yeah. the more you collect, and it's just really neat uh, the way it's, that that works. To me, it's cool the way the cards work together. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to figure out like, what is the best strategy? Should I go for green ones or should I go for purple ones mm -hmm. to get more damage? Should I go for trying to get a lot of health back or like, should I go for infinity shards? Like. I don't know. I just every single time I play, I do something different, and mm -hmm. it's always so fun. And Emily typically beats me, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, what is your number two? Okay, number two. This one also has a really beautiful app. It does. And is really There's near and dear to here. my heart is Sagrada. 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 So Sagrada is um, kind of puzzly. It's kind of like a stool, but you're doing it with dice. You're trying to build like a stained glass window, mm -hmm. and according to patterns. It, you might be going for number patterns or color patterns yeah. or um, different. You have like little your own personal goals. Unlike a soul, you have like an extra one mm -hmm. that you're going for that the other person doesn't know it's a secret. And so when we <laughs> last year <laughs> we're sick, yeah, we played it a bunch. Yeah, and but, we got this a year ago almost to the day. Yeah, uh, we got it as a recommendation while we were in a yeah. board game shop, and we were like, sure, why not? Sure, we'll, let's we'll pick get it up it. and. and now it's my number two favorite it, game of all time. Two favorite from from 2021. 2021. Yeah, it's um, such a fun game. The app is really beautiful too, mm. um, and it makes it easy to count the points. And it's really, it's a pretty game. Yeah. And it's based on. I'm a Spanish teacher. It's based on. <laughs> she didn't know. Sagrada Familia, mm -hmm. the cathedral in Barcelona. We'll throw some pictures in there. By Gaudí. Yeah. So the, some people are like. This doesn't have any theme at all. It, it does. It totally does. It totally it does. does. And it's a beautiful theme. I love it. Yeah. Even the pieces are really neat. Like, I love the little oh, slide yeah, in Oh, yeah. The little boards. That The way it slides in. Mm -hmm. So pretty. The artwork. And gorgeous. rolling all those beautiful dice. Love so it. Fun. Okay. Great pick. Thank you. I mean, I like it more than your number one. Mm. But your number one is very, very good. Thanks. Last one. Number one pick is Calico. I was going to give you number one. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Calico. Calico. It's by AEG. Is it? I think it is. Let me see. It is by AEG. Yeah. In Flat Out Games. I thought, I, for, I, for some reason, I thought it was only Flat Out Games. So, Calico is kind of, again, I love Azul. I love puzzly games. I love tile placement games. Mm -hmm. Sagrada's tile placement, am I right? Oh, uh, dice placement, dice, tile placement. It's the same placement. thing. Same thing. So, um, Calico, you're going for goals. You mm -hmm. have three goals that you're going for. Plus, you have extra goals, like according to the patterns, you can go for to get cats, mm -hmm. and then you can also have um, color patterns to get buttons, mm -hmm. and then all of those add up for points. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, what do I go for? Do I go for my little goals yeah. that I chose? Do I go for cats? Do I go for buttons? Yeah. Do I go for all of the things? There's some hate drafting going on Absolutely. you can do with each There's other. There's only three out there. That, that's right. probably the part that gets me. The, they very consciously made the decision, we want people to take what you need. And you're right. gonna see it come out and you're gonna be powerless to stop them from taking that. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's it's yeah. great. Why, it's why do you prefer 
Calico to Sagrotica. It's just, it feels a little bit more crunchy to me. Okay. Is it not? No, I, I think so. It's definitely a like game that's harder. more things you can be thinking about and going mm. for. I like the, it's just kind of puzzly. Mm. I don't know, I, they both are, but. I know Max loves the the board better. The board is cool. Uh, that that has the inlays and like they sneak into the the corners. All and those stuff. Sagrada boards are awesome too. The Sagrada I don't board know. is awesome too. Um, but all the three. Oh, my, they both have that. Yeah. So I'm done. Yeah. So my top three though, like, which is weird for me. I don't really play solo games. Mm. He does, but I don't. Mm. But my top three, I do actually play solo. Mm -hmm. Like I play shards on the app. Mm -hmm. I like to play Sagrada on the app. And then I will sit in our board game room and play Calico by myself, mm -hmm. solo. Yeah. Just because I enjoy it that much. Yeah. And I like to practice it, so. But Calico, fantastic pick. That was your number one new to you game in 2021. It only came out in 2020, so you only missed it by a year. We yep. really didn't get heavy into board games until last year anyway, so. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm looking forward to your list for next year. Thanks for sharing. Uh, if any of these games interest you at all, uh, check them out on BGG uh, or at your local board game store if you can. Support them. Some of them, um, can you play on BGA? You can play Similo. So. You can play Similo for sure. You can check them on the air. Uh, Sagrada has Sagrada. a really great app. Shards of Infinity has right. a really great app. So if you want to try these, uh, and you, you aren't sure you want to like fork over the money to get the actual copy just yet, you can absolutely try it there first. Uh, and then a lot of yours are actually very affordable. Like um, Taco Cat Go Cheese Pizza is available everywhere for like 10 bucks max. Um, uh, Fuji Flush, I don't know how available it is, but it's pretty cheap. And then Tat, ta 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 wow, Tattoo Stories is also yeah. uh, fairly cheap. Um, but yeah. Something about these two, like on my list, these are things that we've played, but maybe I played at PAX or I've played with Max and Danielle or mm -hmm. um, these are like, I ordered a lot of these myself. Mm -hmm. Like instead of you bringing it home and like trying to teach me, these are games that I sought out and got really excited about. Yeah. And that's been a game changer for me. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to your 2021 list because I think that you've gotten really attached to a lot of those. Uh, but that will come out soon. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. And then also, if you want to come talk to Emily and I about her picks or my picks or Max's picks, uh, hop into our Discord and there is a link in the description for that. But until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.